YouTube game. What's popping, man? This your boy G So Creative. Hey, listen. Y'all see this right here? I'm gonna take it out, clean it up. I'm gonna put it up for sale. It, I, it, it's ridiculous, man. I a lot of people got a shoe fetish, but I got a vehicle fetish. Like I buy like so much stuff. Like y'all think these big YouTubers got a lot of stuff. I mean, dog. I mean, look at here. I mean, I'm not bragging, but I mean, damn. I mean, you know. Well, I go buy every every time I think about buying a pair of Jordans, I'm like, fuck it, let me go buy a car. But um, this is what I got going on right here. So working on the Camaro, I got um the engine work I'm working on. Still about to get it, so I gotta get the hood on it. And then um, like I said, I'm going with metallic blue first, and then I got a whole lot of accessories on here that I'm gonna do chrome. Also gotta finish this up right here. Um gonna be sanding this down shortly. And on the inside, I buy got the inside ready to go back together. I gotta put the city player in. Once I put the city player in, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to get my roll cage in if I can. Y'all look, I got so many projects, so much stuff I got to do. But you know, you don't have enough time in the day to do a lot of stuff. I also gotta paint this building right here. I gotta remodel this building. I got everything to do stuff with. I just ain't had time to really just do anything because I'll be working. Anybody want a cat? You can have that cat if you want it. You can have them. They're right here. So, um, I'm also finna go ahead and pressure wash this dirt bike because I'm gonna go ahead and paint it black and um, put the rest of the color coordination on there. That way we can go ahead and get rid of that red. So that'll be gone today. So next time I do a video, you won't see none of that red. By the way, I hope everybody having a blessed day today. You know what I'm saying? Hope you're staying out the way, staying safe. I was gonna do an X Motos ride out, but I um like I said, I, I got so much stuff I gotta get together before I do that. I even got a custom tiller right here. Look at that tiller. That's the meanest tiller you ever want to see right there. I promise you. Look at the bottom right there. That thing dug up something. And guess what? It's running off a hard a harbor predator engine. You know what I'm saying? Speed control. Look at them. Got a torque converter on them. Y'all ain't never seen that like that before. I promise you. I was going to sell it, but I said, got so much land back here. I better go ahead and keep it because I also got the, um, let me turn this off. Also working on the trail. So let y'all see what I got down here. My nephew been down here burning out something. So you can kind of see how much land we got down here. I mean, it just, this the trail down here that we working on. Back in my previous videos, y'all probably seen it. Um, so I'm gonna get that whole area cleaned out down there. It go all the way to the spring. It actually go all the way back up that way. And then it goes all the way back down that way to where the end of that dump truck at. So we're gonna have all that room to play with in the summertime if I get to it. So just a whole lot of stuff that I gotta get going, but, um, Today, I'm finna go ahead and pressure wash this dirt bike. I'm gonna pull it around in my truck so I can get it cleaned up and everything. And then um, I'm gonna do the painting process on it. Woo, I'm out of breath. Hey, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all see this right here? This is actually the same color that I got on that Camaro over there. But um, I'm probably gonna sell this too. Probably gonna sell it. Because um, I'm kind of getting into a lot of bigger vehicles. So, you know, these these fun to play with. You take them out to a car show or whatnot, you know. Also, I'm going to give y'all my Instagram. I don't really post on Instagram a lot. So, ain't like I got. But feel free to go to my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram. If you got any questions with whatever you may have. If you're trying to send me a video on your dirt bike not running or whatnot, then Instagram would be the thing. So it's G underscore Wilts 864. Again, G underscore Wilts 864. That's the best way to contact me. So yeah, make it do what it do, man. I'm about to get back on this little project and then uh, take this. Well, hold on. Let me take the dirt bike over here first. I got too much stuff I'm trying to do at one time. So I haven't cropped the dirt bike up today. Let me crank it up. I can do what it do. Let's crank this bad boy. Let's see if we get a start up on the first try. Well, you know what? Before I do that, what I like to do, 
twist that cable three times, and then crank it. See that? Twist that cable, crank it. Y'all look, this is an aftermarket carburetor, but I don't care what kind of carburetor you get, man. When it's cold, all of them do the same thing until it warmed up. Then you see your performance once, you know what I'm saying? Every carburetor gotta get warmed up. So I don't care if you spend the most money on the highest brand carburetor, it's still gonna sound like it sound until it get warmed up. But um, yeah, man, I said it's about time to get this out of the way, man. Go ahead and finish this project so I can get on with another project. Still gonna give me another FMF exhaust. I ain't worrying about that little hater who stole it. I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought about doing, and it was kind of hard, but I got a drone now. So I'm probably gonna send my drone up around the neighborhood to see if I can find it. But you know, I should have been done that from day one, so it's probably too late now. Who knows? Crackhead might have got it. Anybody could have got it. But let me go ahead and run here. Ready to hold his phone, so all right, y'all. We're gonna pull on the right here to the other side now. Huh? Let's go over here. Oh, still got my choke on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wash this down off my van. I'm finna say, damn, we got a police over here. Nah, I'm just messing with you. That's our patrol car. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it down. The other day when I did that wheelie in that video, look, so I cracked the plastic cause it came up too far, but it's all good. See, I know how to do body work and stuff. So if I crash these things, it, it don't really matter to me because, you know, I can fix it, but you know, somebody who don't know how to fix it, it'll be a little, a little rough on them. So, I just spray my whole dirt bike down, man. You too tough. I just want to get the um, grease off this frame because get the grease and the dirt off the frame. That way, when I paint it, I don't have to worry about nothing uh, sliding off. I ain't got to worry about the paint not sticking. None of that good stuff. I'm all going to hit the tires too when I'm at it. Gonna spray all that. <laughs> I got a little joke, y'all. Y'all, I'm lazy today. I'm lazy today, man. But it's all good. I'm just gonna spray it down. We ain't got that jug up right. I'm gonna spray out. So I'm going to get all that in. Get that bad boy phone down real good. Spray it down. And then I'm gonna pressure wash this thing. Yeah, she hot. Some idiot might get in the comments and be like, that's not how you dirt press or wash a dirt bike. That's not how you clean a dirt bike. Look, I don't give a damn how you clean a dirt bike. As long as it's clean, that's all that matter. Just don't get no water down in that tailpipe because you get it down to your engine, you're going to be SOL, buddy. Y'all already know what that means. If you don't, shit out of luck. You know what I'm saying? So, got that on. Now, I'm going to put y'all back on my chest mount and I'm going to press wash it. Uh, y'all, I just wanted to get this dirt bike a good engine test while I got the water on it. So, let's see. I was going to put the plug in, but I actually wanted to see what would happen if I did get water inside the engine. Would it blow it out or will it act up? Also, pressure wash where the spark plug was at. So, if that's a hell of a good wire, then it should uh, repel the water out of it. So, I said we might as well go ahead and do that test too. So, now that... I did that. Let's make sure. Okay, it's in gear. Let's go ahead and get it out of gear. Because I want to see if it's still crank after getting all that stuff wet. If anybody going to mess that shit up, I guess it might as well be me, right? Save y'all some trouble. Okay, so 
I got the spark plug fully wet. I got the kitchen uh, switch key fully wet. I got water inside the muffler. So let's see if this X motor is crank up. Let's see if the Chinese dirt bike withhold water damage. Okay. All right. Up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, uh oh. Oh, my choke on. Hold on. <laughs> you can tell I got a little bit of that. <laughs> so it got it got water in there. You can tell it got water in there. What you gotta do? do the... Alright. It cut off. That's because I got water in the muffler. So you see what happened when you get water down in the muffler. But I'm gonna show y'all how to fix that real quick. You go ahead and put the choke on halfway. And then we we finna work it out. <laughs> we we got to work it out now. Also, the switch kind of got hung a little bit. So what you gotta do? You gotta work the carburetor and the run at the same time. That's what happens when you get water down in your engine. But it's all good though, because this is a tough X motos and I believe it's gonna crank and I know it's gonna crank. So what I'm gonna do, since it ain't gonna crank that way, we're gonna take it around and make it run. That's the second way to get your X motos to run. You gotta blow that water out of there. So you get it right, I guess. Yes, sir. She back alive now. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm about to get all the water up out of there. Still got a little bit in there. Gotta get a blow it on out of there. So that's what happened when you get water down and go, don't do what I did. Or you'll be going through the problems that I'm going through. See that? It's about there though. Yes, sir. And that, my friends, is how you unclog the muffler. 
when you get water down in it. See his back? You just gotta ride around for a little minute. You ride around for a little while, she'll get back right. It's a Chinese bike, but it's a hell of a bike. So, you know, any other little Chinese bike would have towed up on you by now. But Old Faithful still running strong. So if you ain't got an X-Mono by now, go get you one. This your boy, G-So Creative, man, signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, make it do what it do. X-Mono Gang, we're in the building, always in the building. We're always chilling. Let's get it.